Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm finally posting a video on my gua sha routine. I know this was highly requested for a long time even before I did the jade roller routine and so I wanted to make sure that I got one up for you guys. So I talk a lot about benefits of facial massage and jade rolling in that other video which I will link somewhere up here and also down below in the description box. Gua sha is another form of facial massage and it's something that I've been doing probably for about like three-ish months now. Maybe a little bit less, maybe a little bit more, I can't quite remember, but I was lucky enough to get a gua sha facial on one of my recent trips and I just kind of fell in love with it and then fell down the rabbit hole of researching it and watching videos on how to do it and so I've kind of found the best routine that works for me. Now I can't take credit for this routine. This is a routine that a certified gua sha facialist has come up with so I will link all that information down below. I just found that after doing all my research, this routine seemed like the best way to go. Gua Sha has really picked up and you'll see people are doing it in very different ways. My personal feeling with Gua Sha is that everything should be very gentle, gentle repetitive motions, not scraping, not, nothing too hard that you're really pulling at your skin. So I'm going to show you guys what I do and like I said, I'll link all those other resources down below for you and I'm going to share with you the products that I personally use. Before you begin, a gua sha or a facial massage routine you do want to have some slip to your face so you're going to need some sort of products that hang out on the surface so that when you're actually using the tool you don't drag or pull your skin any more than you need to and so I always begin with some sort of hydrating mist personally my favorite is the Josh Rosebrook mist but I was out of that I finished it up if you guys saw that in my empties video so right now I'm just trying to finish the Derma E hydrating mist with hyaluronic acid and green tea this is not quite as nice but it does the job so I'll use a hydrating mist and then I'll use whatever product I really want to penetrate my skin right now my skin is very dry so I'm using a face oil and then I'm also going to be using a balm again this is very similar to my jade rolling routine I might use a little bit more product with gua sha than facial rolling because you're definitely going to be pulling a little bit more the last thing that you need is the actual gua sha tool there are so many out there right now I personally love this one again everything will be linked down below the actual routine that I'm doing by the Gua Sha Facialist, she uses this tool. This is her tool. So I ended up purchasing it because I think it's great. I think it's a wonderful shape and you can do a lot with it. So once you have your products and the tools, a couple things to keep in mind about Gua Sha is that you're going to want to keep your tool flat. So sometimes you'll see people using tools like this, like scraping. And really what you want to do is keep it as flat as possible. This is going to really make sure that you're not being too harsh with your skin, that you're not pulling and tugging when you don't need to and that you're not applying too much pressure because this motion can be kind of disruptive and actually hurt a little bit and that's never the goal of gua sha facials. There are other gua sha techniques for your body and that's when you'll see a lot of blood brought to the surface. It almost looks like scraping or bruising but that is not what the gua sha facial is about. The gua sha facial is very calm, very restorative, a lot about gentle repetitive motion so that's what we're going to be doing today. Just to summarize a couple of the benefits benefits that you can see from gua sha are improvement in fine lines and wrinkles, a renewal of a glow, just a brightened skin tone. For me, what I really notice is the texture of my skin. If you suffer from acne, if you just have sort of congested skin, this can be really helpful to just move all that congestion around and sort of break it up. Uh, and definitely muscle tension. This feels great if you have a tight jaw. It really helps. So without further ado, let's get started. So I'm just going to begin by misting my face all over and quickly before that sort of sets in I'm gonna be applying one pump of my Lindstrom oil and using a little scooper I'm gonna be applying just about a pea size of the May Lindstrom blue cocoon and then I'm just gonna rub my hands together and really gently apply it to my skin you can already start to give yourself a bit of a facial massage when you're applying this product I'm gonna bring it down my neck because we are going to do a little bit of neck work. One thing I've definitely learned is that if your face is tense, most likely your neck is tense too. <laughs> so working on both areas is really important. 
So my face has enough slip where when I sort of run over it, I can feel the product on the surface, but I'm not drenched in product by any means. And we're actually gonna let that sink in a little bit and we're gonna start on our neck. So the first area we're gonna start is actually the back of our neck. We have that little spiny bit where you can feel, I always used to call it like a dinosaur spine when I was little. You can feel those bumps right at the base of your neck. We're gonna start right there and place these two prongs with the spiny bit right in the middle. So I'll turn over to show you guys. But we're gonna place it right at the base of your spine and with as flat of an angle as possible, you're gonna drag up towards your hairline until you reach that bony bit right at the base of your skull. And we're gonna repeat that five times. So again, I'm just finding that little bony bit right in the middle and placing the two prongs on there and dragging with as flat of an angle as possible upwards to my skull. And when I reach that bone, I'm just gonna wiggle back and forth for a second or two. Once I've done that five times, I'm gonna move to the sides of my neck. So this is why it's great to do after a shower so that you can just be in a towel. But I'm gonna start by using this long edge here. I'm gonna place the tool very flat against my neck. I'm just gonna gently pull upwards, keeping it flat all the way up, best as I can until I reach the base of my skull and I'm gonna give it a little wiggle. And this again I do five times. And I'm just applying medium pressure, so not too hard, and I'm definitely not scraping. You can already see there's a little bit of redness forming, which is very mild. That's all the blood rushing to my muscle. I'm gonna show you on this side, and there's always one side that's easier, one side that's harder. For me, this side is harder to do. And I'm just gonna drag it up until I reach the base of my skull and give it a little wiggle. Now moving to the front of our neck. You have your collarbones right here. I'm gonna place the tool right underneath my collarbone, drag over my collarbone and keep it flat just like we do on the side of the neck. And with light pressure, I'm gonna go all the way up until I reach my jaw and give it a little wiggle. So again, starting right underneath my collarbone, going over my collarbone and up, keeping it as flat as possible and wiggling once I reach my jawline. I do this five times. Whatever you do to one side, you're gonna to wanna to do to the other. So starting right underneath my collarbone, up and above, keeping it flat all the way up with light pressure until you reach your jaw and give it a little wiggle. After five times, we're gonna move to the front of our neck and you see where your collarbone comes together? That's where we're gonna place this little double rounded edge. And very lightly, we're gonna go all the way up our throat, so the very front of our neck, until we reach that jawline where we're gonna give it another wiggle. So this I do pretty lightly because it can feel kind of funny. Nice and slow. Give it a wiggle when you get to the top. Starting at the base again, very lightly and nice and slow. So that finishes off the neck portion. So now we're gonna move on to the face and we're gonna be using a lot of different faces of this tool depending on where we're working. So starting by using the rounded tool, I'm gonna to put my finger right in the center and I'm gonna start on my jawline. So I'm gonna keep this as as flat of an angle as possible and work it back along my jawline. Following the curve of my jaw all the way till I get to my ear, and I'm gonna give it a wiggle. And this I actually do seven times. Depending on how much tension you hold in your jaw, you can always do it more or less. So we're gonna start on just one half of my face and then we'll do the other one, but I'm gonna work up to now underneath my cheek, so I'm gonna be using this long side of the tool, placing my finger right at the base of my nostril so I don't pull too hard, and I'm gonna place the tool flat against my cheeks, 
and move it upwards towards the top of my ear. It kind of fits perfectly in that curve up there and then give it a little wiggle once we get there. And this I do five times. Before we move up to the eye, I'm going to do a little bit of work right around my mouth for smile lines. So I'm going to hold it the same way, but I'm going to scoop it right underneath my cheekbone. I'm going to do this four times. So it's the same technique, but you're using this edge right here to fit right underneath your cheekbone so you can kind of feel it going over that muscle. And this will really help to contour and take out the puffiness that sometimes we hold here. Moving on to the eyes, this is the part where you want to be very gentle, even overly gentle. So I'm going to put my finger right here to make sure I'm not pulling my skin. Place one of these round bits right next to my finger and I'm going to drag it upwards and outwards towards my temple. When I get to my temple, I'm going to hold and wiggle. I'm doing this five times. Next, I'm going to place my fingers over my eyelid and place the tool on my brow bone. And using these two round bits, I'm going to follow my brow bone all the way to my temple and give it a little wiggle. I do this five times. So you're just following the natural shape of your brow bone and however it goes. So mine goes up, down, and then I tilt towards my temple. Carry a lot of tension in my forehead too, so this one always feels so good. Next, we're gonna transition to using the long side of the tool again. Leaving your hands on your eyelid, you're gonna start at the bottom of your brow bone and pull upwards towards the top of your forehead and wiggle once you reach your hairline. This I do seven times. Now I think it's pretty incredible. You can already see the difference in my eyebrows. <laughs> and just how awake this eye looks versus this eye. I'm also starting to get a little bit of a runny nose from my sinuses starting to drain. I have bad allergies right now, so I was a little bit stuffy. But you can definitely see the difference between the two sides, which is very cool. So we're gonna do one final step on our forehead before moving to the other side, and this only needs to be done once. But placing your finger right in the center of your forehead, you're gonna use the short side, and you're just gonna pull up the same way you did with the brow bone until you reach your hairline. I find this step to be incredibly relaxing, so I do it five to seven times depending on how tired I am. So now we're just going to repeat all those steps on the other side. So again, holding our chin, starting at our jawline and doing this motion seven times. And moving up to our cheek area and holding by our nostril using the flat edge and pulling outwards towards the tops of our ears. Doing this motion five times. And then moving down to underneath our cheekbone, doing this one four times. Now being very gentle, moving to our eye area, placing my finger right in the corner of my eye using very light pressure, dragging up and outwards and wiggling at your hairline. This I'm repeating five times. Now placing your hand on your eyelids and the two rounded parts on the bottom and top of your brow bone. 
following your natural brow bone up towards your temple and wiggle once you reach there. This I'm doing five times. And finally, taking the long edge of your tool and leaving your hands slightly on your eyelids, starting underneath your brow bone, using the tool flat and pulling it as flat as you can all the way up into your hairline and giving it a wiggle once you reach the top. This I'm doing seven times. Once you've completed your gua sha routine, you should notice that your eyebrows are now <laughs> back at the same height, that your skin feels incredibly soft and just all the muscles in your face feel so relaxed. I really enjoy doing this routine before bedtime. I try and do it as often as possible so you can even do this routine every night if you have time for that. Gua sha, you'll definitely see a bigger difference than jade rolling but it's also more of an investment because you're spending a lot more time and being a lot more precise in your motions and this isn't something that you should be fast with. This is something that you should really take your time with whereas jade rolling I would recommend for people who maybe are a little bit less patient when it comes to their skincare or don't have as much time that's a faster option so definitely go check out that video if that sounds more up your alley but if you have the time to spare gua sha is incredibly incredibly beneficial and even after the first time doing it you notice a difference your gua sha tool just needs to be washed with hot water and soap after each use i hope you guys found this helpful like i said i'm gonna link down below the original video that this one is is based off of because this is not my technique this is someone else's technique I'm just merely re-expressing that technique and sharing with you guys some of the changes that I made like I increased the number on my jawline because I know that I hold a lot of tension there same with my forehead so you can really customize this routine to be what you want the base number that you want to work with is five strokes in any one direction so from five you can either go up or you can stay at five and you can see how it feels. And yeah, I'm really excited for you guys to try this. I hope that it works as well for you as it has for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If I can answer any other questions, please let me know in the comments down below and I will see you all next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.